cartridge in my pen. Is that not Domino's? Just a... No, it's just a Super Mario 64 cartridge. Is that, a super, is that a Super Mario 64 <laughs> cartridge in your <laughs> pocket or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> if it was a Banjo-Kazooie cartridge, yeah. there we go. Yeah, and that's okay. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. Should we turn him on? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Alrighty. So we just turned on the 64. We got Mario 64 on the TV. Yes, welcome Back, no, welcome back. <laughs> welcome, welcome back to our first ever episode. Welcome back to our first ever episode. Um, I am Ty. And I am Jimmy. And this is Ty and, Ty Jimmy, and Jimmy Talk. Are we doing that in unison? <laughs> Let's do that again in unison. All right. Three, two, one. Ty and Jimmy Ty. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Ty and Jimmy Talk Mario 64. Yeah, there we go. We, we did it. Sorry, Super Mario Super 64. Mario 64. Um, Not to be confused with... Mario. Super Mario 64 DS. Yeah. Um, or... <laughs> No, we're talking the we're talking the the OM, the original yeah. Mario. Yeah, not the original Mario. But you know what I we're mean. We're playing Mario Brothers on. This is getting too confusing. Let's right. just yeah. Let's, let's just <laughs> change the topic. Yeah. We'll, <laughs> let, rather, let's get on topic. Yeah. So we're we're here today to talk to you about Mario sixty four. Um, mm-hmm. we're playing it while we're talking. So apologies if you hear. Yeah. Um, Unless you like that. Uh, it, it's a nice ASMR gaming channel. Yeah. This is N sixty four controller ASMR. That so. I. I'm weirdly into that. Like, yeah. I, I actually quite like the sound of that. But like someone like playing the 64, just like in the room, like, it'd be like, yeah. we, like good for like lo-fi or something. Like lo-fi, like, like with like Bob on Bat, like 64 music, like, you know, famous yeah. 64 music, like Goldeneye music, Banjo-Kazooie music, yeah. uh, Ocarina, like, uh, yeah, all of like the well-known 64 music That'd with like cool. lo-fi. Oh, that, we should do that. <laughs> Write that down. We'll add yeah, that to the list of things to do. Yeah, all the things, amongst yeah. everything else that we want to do. That'd actually be pretty cool. And you have like a lo- like a like a band pass filter on the music. Yeah. So it like sounds like it's coming from a TV, yes. like in the background. Um, damn. Well, na- yeah, damn. <laughs> well, I'm, we, I'm we super got carried away. But... Yeah. Anyway, so we've just come up with the uh, second idea. So let's yeah. scrap this podcast and um, go and do <laughs> that <done>. instead. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening, guys. Yeah, um, <laughs> um, so uh, I think. What we were talking about before was um, uh, what what was let's talk first experiences. The yeah. sixty four is a game and a system <laughs> that is quite dear to both of us, but and obviously a lot of people, but yeah. um, especially us, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so, what was your first experience with Mario sixty four? Um, first experience. Well, it'd be like when I was a lot younger, probably around four or five. So, like we used to have a babysitter, and they'd look after us a lot when the parents mm. were working. And she had Mario 64. So I, I I never owned Mario 64 until much later, like probably when I was in uni when I first started working. Um, so it's always just like going to the babysitter's place and either watching her play it or my oh, yeah. siblings play it. I don't think I actually played it that much. I just saw it and I'm like, fuck, this is sick. Yeah, and the one is. level like I remember the most is the the second time you fight Bowser. Oh, I yes. Think is it Leaf, Leaf of Lava World? Yeah. I might be, I I might be getting it. it confused with Hot Lava. I can't, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I have, I have a specific memory of watching them play that level. Yeah, and okay. Like this, and, and fighting Bowser. Oh, the Bowser fights. And like you go down like those rings. Like yes, really yes. Like weird thing. You're know, like, holy fuck. That was like mind-blowing to me, just going down that and then you see Bowser and you're like, holy shit. <laughs> this is going to go down. Yeah, hell and yeah. It, it was so awesome. Um... Yeah, so that was probably the first time. And then years later, it was probably 9 or 10 or 11, one of those three. Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I can't remember. Somewhere between 9 and 11. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think my little brother got Mario 64 on the DS. It was uh, actually weird because yes. he got the game case for New Super Mario Brothers. So I think that was what he was actually meant to get. Oh, okay. But he got Mario 64 instead. Was it a pre-owned copy or did they just fuck up? Uh, I think it wasn't pre-owned because we bought oh. it like Myers or something. Oh, true. So it was definitely a fuck up, but I think it was the best fuck up you could ask for. Honestly, like, yeah, that's I'm not, it's not, not bad. About like that. New Super Mario Bros. is great, but it is. Mario 64 is something else. Yeah, but he got okay. that, and I think I just hogged it a lot and played <laughs> the shit out of it. I think that was one of the first games. I ever completed fully. Yeah. Actually, and, I think I might be in a similar boat. Yeah. yeah. And that, that game, 
is like even bigger than the one on 64 because it has like more stars with Luigi. And yeah, yeah. All the actual levels and that. So to complete that first and not this game, it's a bit strange. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and I just I remember playing the heck out of that. For the longest time, I didn't know how to unlock Luigi and Wario. I found out eventually online that you could do it. And then yeah. when I did it, I thought you could do it in the original game. Oh, okay. But obviously you can't. It's just well, did you? Um, what was your go-to website? Was it Game FAQs? Yeah. Yeah, Game F- yeah. FAQs. Shout out Game <laughs> FAQs. I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> I, I used to, my dream as a kid used to be to write walkthroughs for Game yeah. FAQs. I used to like sit there and make, um, there's a specific name for it, but you know when people would make art out of symbols in like notepad documents? Yeah. Um, there's a specific name for that type of art, and I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I, I made like the Banjo Kazooie logo. That's awesome. In, in that, like with symbols and things. I yeah. watched like a YouTube tutorial on how to do it. Oh. Um, oh, that, That's wow. Awesome. I want to see that. I just unlocked like a deep memory. Yeah. You just had, you just forgot for like years. Dude, game FAQs, like S- something else. Picturing that, um, picturing that website, like really takes me back to my childhood. Yes. Oh. oh, like I can't remember a lot of the sites I went on. Game FAQ is definitely one of them. For sure. Maybe like a lot of those websites where it just be like the whole screen is pretty much black and it just has like text on it or so. <laughs> it's just like really like obscure websites. Yeah. That have yeah. all like these the wildest theories. Like you can play Luigi in the original Mario 64 and stuff like that. But you can. You just had to um so my dad used to work for Nintendo <laughs> and he told me how. Yeah. Do you want to tell us how? How you did it? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, <laughs> the first thing you have to do. It, no, I can't. I can't think. <laughs> you got to press the A, A, and B, and then walk through a ball. You got to press um, A, A, B, B, um, up, down, up, down, start, select. <laughs> um, you got to do the yeah. Konami code on the sixty four. The reason yeah. people didn't know how to unlock him is because it was the Konami code. Yeah, but because it was a Nintendo console, <laughs> no one thought to do it. So. Yeah. It was just genius on Nintendo's part. Yeah, exactly. Um, and my dad, he would, he helped program that. <laughs> nice. um, he told me that's why. Oh, he also told me how to get Mew three, but that's another. Yeah, that's 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 for another the, podcast. That's another Pokemon episode. We'll, yeah, we'll do an episode about Mew three. Yeah. Um, so after the DS one, probably yeah, because then I got the original copy on the sixty four when oh, yeah. I was in uni and when I started working, played the shit out of that. And I completed it. Like I think that's that would have been like one of the first times yeah. I completed it fully, like on a sixty-four. Um, so that was awesome. Except for like, you just died. I just died. <laughs> yeah, I just died. Um, but yeah, and completing it is a task. It really is. It really like, is. On, a task. It's easy. It was easier on the DS because obviously the controls are better and the camera is not uh, as so far. much better. I like. It is difficult. I think it's like more difficult when you get a hundred coins in like the later levels of the game. It's a, it's a challenge. It's like oh yeah, I I think TikTok getting the hundred coins on TikTok Clock oh, that was at oh, all very that difficult. was a mission. Yeah, and I don't know if like I was satisfied after getting it just because I was like so frustrated, so defeated. Yeah, like God, I've, like I've done it, but at what cost? <laughs> <laughs> at what cost? <laughs> but um, <laughs> but yeah. And then after that, I think I would have played it a few more times on the 64, but then mm. got it on All Stars when yes. I came out last year. And then I, I just absolutely smashed through it and did that 100% again. Yeah. And yeah, I'd say that's, that's my experience of Mario 64, I guess. So we'll go, we'll go with you. Yeah, well, I, um, I haven't... I haven't played the 64 version in a long mm. time because I um yeah the most recent time I played it was on All Stars yeah um and even then I didn't get super far into it before I just got busy with life and things yeah but um I have a really vivid memory of um a friend I had as a kid who had a 64 like similar similar deal like it wasn't a babysitter but I had a friend who had a 64 and I'd always go over and I'd always sit and watch them play Mario 64 yeah um, and I'd played a little bit too um. But I just I just loved watching them play it because I was just so like I was like six or something. I was yeah. like, this is the most insane shit in the world. Yeah. Like You're amazed by like pretty much anything. Like as age. a kid, I thought this was like peak graphical performance. And yeah. now I'm playing it and I'm like, holy shit. Like, if I had a dollar for every pixel on this screen, <laughs> I'd have about 75 cents. <laughs> like um it's yes. yeah, as a kid, I was so blown away by this game. And yeah. I, I was very lucky to um get get a sixty a secondhand sixty-four nice. um back when I was oh, probably like seven or eight. Yeah. And 
slightly tangential but also relevant. I yeah. have a really another really vivid memory. Um, it probably would have been like grade five or six or something. Yeah. Uh, we just moved houses and it was like, you know, we'd spent the whole day moving and I had this tiny little box CRT TV, like this oh, tiny right. little TV. Oh, yeah. And um, like that, that was like in my bedroom and I thought I was the coolest kid that's, in the world. That's so cool. Um, and we moved and everything was just scattered all over the house. Yeah. We went and got like fish and chips. Like yeah. that was that was what you did when you moved houses. Yeah. And um and so we went and got fish and chips. And I remember the only things I'd unpacked were my 64, my copy of Banjo yeah. Kazooie. And I was laying on the, I plugged in my little TV and my 64 in the living room, just surrounded by boxes. There was no furniture around, mm. laid on the floor. Uh, it was like eight o'clock at night, which was like huge for me back then. Yeah. Eight o'clock at night. Oh, that's really late. Yeah, eating fish and chips, yeah. playing Banjo Kazooie on my little CRT TV, yeah. and just, man, life, is, life was yeah. good. You, you I'm getting really sad thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember a time I was like, since then, where I've been that happy, yeah. But such anyway, like an innocent, like just <laughs> pure moment. Oh, I'm getting, a little, sure. I'm getting a little teary thinking about <laughs> it. Um, but yeah, so I, once I got the 64, the two games that I got first were Banjo Kazooie and Mario 64. Yeah. Um, and I played the shit out of Mario 64. Yeah. Um, yeah. and yeah, and so I had that experience. Then my sister got a DS, very similar again to you. My sister yeah. got a DS, and I got Mario, I bought my own copy of Mario 64, but for my sister's DS. Yeah. Um, and I used, we, <laughs> we used to have a little, um, a schedule on who would oh, be able yeah. to play the DS on which days. She was super good about it. Yeah. Um, so I used to have the DS on like Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays, <laughs> and she used to have it every yeah. other day. Like we had a schedule. Yeah. Um, and yeah. so I bought 64 to play on her oh, nice. DS because um, I had a PSP yeah. and I didn't want to mod it um, and emulate. So I no. just... I just bought a copy of the game for her DS. Yeah, nice. We used to do like the same thing, like me and my brothers. Like, especially on holidays, we get like games from Blockbuster. Oh, and it'd be like, we would like set a timer one hour each. You get like an hour and yes. then it take turns. Absolutely. It's like weirdly effective. It, it, like, it, it Efficient worked. and effective. Me and my sister used to fight a lot, as all siblings do, but yeah. like, we we always respected the DS schedule. Yeah, you respect the video game grind. You, you got to respect yeah. it. Yeah. And, um, I ended up trading in my PSP so I could buy a new DSi when they came Man. out. Um, and because I was also playing a lot of um, Pokemon Diamond on yep. her DS. And so I was like, I want my own copy of this. Yeah. No, I was playing Pearl on her DS and I bought my own copy of Diamond once yeah. I got my DSi. Nice. And yeah. So then my games library consisted of Mario 64 DS and Pokemon Diamond. Yeah, um, that's not a bad selection. And honestly, I was happy like that for a yeah. long time. Um, but yeah, and then as I was growing up, I played my 64 like less and less, and then it broke, and then oh, haven't got it fixed. But then they announced All Stars for yeah. the Switch with Mario 64 on it, and oh You're man, like, count me the fuck. In. Oh, I was so there. I pre-ordered it and everything yeah, because they were talking same. about like it's going to be a limited release, limited copies. Yeah. So I was like, I have to pre-order this because if I miss out, I'm going to kill myself. Yeah. Like, and I've never played Sunshine or Galaxy, so. No. I think the only one I hadn't played out of the three was Sunshine. I think that's a common theme amongst yeah. everyone I've ever spoken to. Yeah, um, it's definitely the least popular of the three. I don't know it's anyone who has a copy of Sunshine. No. I, don't really... I, I know one person who does, and he got it like at some gaming store in Toowoomba. Yeah. Which, and he got he actually got um like Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, Pokemon Coliseum, Ooh, Smash excellent. Bros, Wind Waker. He got all of that from this store. I'm like, I don't want to buy it off you. I really yeah. want that. One of, one of my good friends had a GameCube, but he mostly just used it for um, uh, the he mostly used it for um, Wind Waker. Yeah, and also he had the um, that bonus disc with Ocarina and Master yeah. Quest on it. Yeah, that's a whole other tangent that we can oh, go yeah. on. It's Ocarina of Time and all of its variants, I guess. But we've already gone on the Mario sixty four yeah, well, <laughs> and all of its variants. Yeah, true. Um, but yeah, so um, nice. yeah, playing it now, I'm remembering. First of all, the music. Like, oh, I will like, never, beautiful. ever forget the music for this game. No. I'm currently in Jolly Roger Bay. That's probably like one of the most iconic yeah. Mario game music. Like Apart you could, from like the opening worlds. Yeah, oh, so and Bob good. on Battlefield. Just, yeah. just stunning. So good. Well, yeah, what is, what is your, do you have a favorite track from the game? Uh, I, that's, that's a really hard question. That's a hard question. That's a hard question to answer on the spot. Yeah, <laughs> I'll try my best. It, it'll probably be Bob on Battlefield. I think that's the like most memorable 
I think most people would agree. Yeah, so I, I, like I was just thinking like yeah. you could almost call it like the sixty four theme. Yeah, for sure. Because um, I think I think Big Small Island also uses that same theme. Yeah, Wamp's Fortress as well. Wamp's Fortress uses the same theme. So yeah, yeah, a lot of worlds that use the same theme. But like, it's the first one when you you know you go through the painting in this massive world. You're yeah, in this new pretty world, and you got this big band music slapped in your face. Uh, like, yeah, it's the first music you hear other than Peach's Castle. Peach's oh, Castle is also super iconic. Yeah. Well, it'd be like, oh, yeah, Peach's Castle. I was thinking of, like, the introduction. Oh, the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. The do, 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 do. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, that. the title theme music. Yeah. yeah. Or the save select. But, like, even, like, the like the first, like, cutscene, I guess, if you call it that. The first cutscene of the yeah. game opens with the Peach's Castle music. Yeah, true. Because it's Mario, it's Peach reading out the letter to Mario. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so Peach's yeah. Castle is the first theme you hear. You yeah. hear it twice, first in the cutscene and then in the castle. Yeah. And then you're straight into Bob on Battlefield, baby. Yeah. Awesome. And it is just good quality stuff. I know. And just like the castle music is just iconic as well. You know, you hear that pretty much everywhere you go. Like besides when you're in the world. So yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just so good. Was um was this music? Do you know if this was was this Koji Kondo? Yeah, yeah, it was. I think so. I think it's Koji Kondo. I feel like most of like the early Nintendo stuff is Koji Kondo, and it probably like started being other composers when the GameCube came out. That that don't quote me on that. That though, sounds correct. Yeah, like oh, I trust this man. We, we could do a whole podcast on Koji Kondo because his oh, music, his is, music just is fantastic. To find my childhood. Yeah, to find everyone's childhood yeah, for sure. If you were born with. Two good ears. Yeah, exactly. Um, apologies to those listening who don't have two good ears. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, would you say Bob on Battlefield is one of your favorites as well, or do you have yeah. like a? I think one? Bob on Battlefield is my favorite purely because um, uh, of what I showed you before we started the yeah. uh, the jazz cover of it. Um, yeah. by Insane in the Rain music. Yeah. Um, his jazz cover of Bob on Battlefield made me sit and listen and go, yeah. damn, this is actually an incredible piece of music. Yeah, just like it makes you appreciate just how good it was. Yeah, like hear, hearing a good arrangement of it, yeah, you're like, exactly. whoa, like this is actually really good. Yeah. And you hear like the big band arrangements, like when, because uh, they remake Wom's Fortress in Mario Galaxy 2. Yeah, I don't know yeah. You played it. And the big band arrangement in that is fucking. Fun. I, I've heard. I've never yeah. played Galaxy Two, but I've heard the music from Galaxy it's, Two. It's amazing. It's it's really good. Yeah. Um, like I know, like both Mario Galaxy One and Two, they actually like it's a, like a full orchestra kind yeah. of soundtrack, which just sounds so. Beautiful. Well, yeah. I started playing Galaxy recently for the first time ever um, yeah. on the All Stars package and um, Gusty Garden Galaxy. Like uh, right away. Yeah. Oh, the music was just stunning. Yeah, that's probably the most iconic. Song for yeah. that game. And again, and it's iconic because it's the first world theme. Yeah. Same as Bob on Battlefield. Exactly. Yeah. And the 1 1 like, theme is the Mario theme from the original game. Like, it's definitely like a tendency to have like your best track as like. Be the, the one that they hear first. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of like in, when you hear like music albums and stuff, like the first track you hear is like probably the best one. Yeah. It's the, sure. one, it's the one that needs to sell you on everything else you're about to listen yeah. to. Yeah. Exactly. I've never really like thought about like music in a video game from that kind of yeah. perspective. It's like like Banjo Kazooie, like the first theme you hear, is Spiral Mountain. Oh, Just like how Spiral. iconic that is. Yeah. And we could go on on another. It's either Spiral that. Mountain or Gr I think it might be Grunty's theme actually. Oh yeah. Which is just the Teddy Bear Picnic song. Yeah. Like sort of read. I actually heard someone singing the complete side. Tangent. Yeah. I heard someone. Um, I heard the Teddy Bear Picnic theme song recently. Yeah. And like, I all I could think, of, I was waiting for it to just turn into the like Grunty's theme from Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. Because that's all I think of when I hear the doom, doom, do, 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 do. Yeah. Do. Like, that is just, I even, I, just then I tried to hum Teddy Bear Picnic. And you just, and, went and to it Grunty's. was the Banjo yeah. Kazooie music. Yeah. Like, Grant Kirkhope, chef's oh, kiss. Like, we could do a whole episode on him. He's we just, will. He's a, um, he's a legend. If I could ever like rank video game music, it would. He, um, he liked one of my tweets. Really? Not too long ago, yeah, and yeah. my life is complete. Yeah, that's it. You can die happy now. Oh, he's getting a Koji Kondo. To Finally, like something. In there. Isn't your Isn't isn't Koji Kondo dead? <laughs> <laughs> is he? I thought he. I, I want. I'm, I'm gonna. Please Google that. if I'm he's gonna, dead. I hope um, he is. I I didn't think he he was. Shout out to Koji Kondo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where <laughs> you're alive, oh, buddy. I feel, I feel horrible if he's. I thought he. 
I could be wrong. I'm, I hope I'm wrong. But it'd be deep. Yeah, way. you're wrong. Yeah, he's still alive. He's oh, 60. He's thank, still alive. He's only 60? Yeah. Oh, thank Christ. Oh, yeah. shout out to Kaoshi Kondo. How you doing, man? <laughs> I'm glad, glad you're still he, alive. Glad buddy. to hear you're doing well at 60. <laughs> yeah. I think he still does, like, some of the music for Mario games. Oh, fuck I yeah. I think he did stuff for Odyssey. Oh. That Goomba just shunted me yeah. off that. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Dude. Uh, this is yep. really good quality. Yeah, you um, won't be able to see what happened, but pretty much um, Tyler just jumped into a Goomba and fell off the stage. Oh my God, I just unlocked Luigi level. in the 64 <laughs> What? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's up to you guys if you want to believe that or not. It's true, my dad was for <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> Stop I'm going to do the secret slide. That. You know, one thing I really remember, one thing oh. I loved about this game, I think more than anything else, was all the secrets inside yeah. the castle. Like this secret, and the music for the secret yeah. slides. Oh boy, it's so, buddy boy. I like, think this is like one of the other levels I remember when yeah. I was little playing this I, game. And so. I still, like once I started playing this again recently on the All-Stars package, the first thing I did was like go and like immediately locate all of these secrets again. Yeah. You know, like looking up to the looking up to the beam coming from the yeah. sky to go and do the um the wing cap, yeah. doing the secret slide in in um in Peach's room yeah. and doing the secret slide in um uh, outside Jolly Roger Bay. Yeah. Like, yeah, there are so many... The oh. world was just so rich. It wasn't just like a castle with nothing no. in it. There was so many little hidden like, things. It was all just really well interconnected. And so, like, so many secrets are just, like, beautifully placed oh, in the game. Yeah, incredible. And, like, imagine, like, just being a kid. You have, like, no guide or anything, and you just find it. And you're like, what the fuck? Now, how would you, like... I guess you would sort of know how to jump through the window to get to the slide from jumping through paintings in the game, but it's just still it's a, yeah. a clever thing to do. Yeah, well, it's it teaches amazing. you the mechanic by giving you the paintings and yeah. then says, here's a room with three windows, try me. Like, Yeah, exactly. Which It's fantastic game design. Yeah, um, exactly. Take over. Okay. I'm playing now. I'm just, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to go... This might be a good segue. I'm just going to go to my favorite level. What is, yeah, what is your favorite so, level? I'm going to go to... Um, Boo, oh, Boo's Haunted, Boo's Haunted uh, House or whatever it's called, yeah. We'll find out it's when we jump into the world. It's my favorite level. Yeah. Was it I can't remember again? the name. It's, it's weird. I don't know. I, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know that I really remember this level all that well. Yeah. This oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait. wait. I, I do remember the piano. Oh, And you walk past the piano when it runs. At yeah. You. Dude, that, I swear that gave me some like PTSD as yeah. a kid. But like, Oh no! I, I love seeing this, this level. Well. I really do remember it yeah. now. I always like I've always like spooky stages in video games, so that probably helps. Why oh. I like love this stage. So I bet so I can much. guess one of your favorite Banjo Kazooie levels. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to guess? Yeah, Mad Monster Mansion. Yeah, that's my yeah. favorite, dude. Mad you Monster Mansion rocks. It's sick. Oh, that level slaps, man. Yeah. The music slaps. The yeah. the cool. stage design slaps. So good. But like, yeah. So it's probably like the aesthetic of this world that I. That I really like. Yeah, but yeah. It's such it's such a good level as well, and like the sound design of it's amazing. Because there's barely any soundtrack. It's just mostly just like sound effects and just really cr creepy sounds. Yeah, just some nice like room audio yeah. of you being in this haunted mansion. But and like, then there's the carousel music. Yeah, which I just entered yeah. now. I don't have really any goal. I'm just sort of running around. Well, that's and, all I was doing yeah, too. Yeah, not not doing anything really. Maybe we'll do a playthrough someday. <laughs> but um, yeah, I can't. Really so much else. It's just a solid level. All the missions are cool, especially like you get to the top of like the haunted house and there's King Boo there, and you're like, oh yeah. shit, okay. It's um, oh, it's just brilliant. Yeah, and I, I, yeah. Like I said, I don't remember much of this level, but I do. I, 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 it's coming back to me now that we're watching it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I could pick a favorite stage. Yeah. I, I really like Womp's Fortress. That's I don't a know solid, why. Like, a solid level. it's just. It's just fun to traverse. I also love, um, what's the one with Plessy? Oh, uh, that's like my least favorite. No, no, no. Oh, oh it um, sucks. Maisie, it's like oh, Hazy Maze Cave yeah. or whatever it yeah. is. Yeah. Um, oh, the eyeball. Also, like, so I'm running around the eyeball enemy. You have to like keep running. Oh, uh, no. The camera just fucked me. Okay, so yeah, I wanted to, I, that actually segues kind of nicely and what I wanted to talk about next was We've oh. talked about all of the good things about this game. Yeah. Are there, is there anything that you dislike about this game? Well, what just happened to me? Yeah, is the, the camera. shitty camera. And like that's kind of excusable. So, you know, this is like their first 
you know, game in 3D. They're still figuring it out. So this is like but, why this is like this game pretty much pioneered like the yeah. 3D genre. Like yeah. everything that came after it. Hundred percent. My God, the camera is awful. Yeah, it, and especially oh. because we're playing with such bad input lag yeah. on the controller too. Yeah. Oh, you managed to defeat yeah, him I though. I wasn't sure you'd do so it. So the camera's like fucked me up in a very spectacular way where it's just given me a bird's it's eye ba- view. Yeah, it's bird's eye now. I, and you can see all the textures yeah. breaking. <laughs> oh, 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 you're in a wall. I, I oh. really wish we'd like been recording the gameplay. because Yeah, we've got to capture the gameplay yeah. in future. Next, next time. Um, that'll be a Patreon exclusive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you got to pay $10 to see that. you got to pay $10 to see the awful fucking camera yeah. work in Mario 64. Yeah. I'm sure it's like pretty... In, this game is infamous for having a shitty camera. I think most 64 games or early 3D games are yeah. infamous for having a bad camera. Except Banjo. Except I ben- think they Actually, no, they Banjo, Banjo's camera was pretty smooth. Yeah. Even Ocarina, I didn't have too many complaints about the camera. Yeah. They really, like, they really listened after 64. Yeah. So like... Yeah, I think I'll create a time. I think it's like more so enemy placement that's kind of annoying yeah. in that. And they also um, had the lock on though, which made life a lot easier when you were doing fights. Yeah, exactly. Especially with the enemies that you had to hit more than once. Yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, I'd say camera definitely annoying. Um, I don't know anything other gameplay wise. I have one mm. gameplay gripe. Yeah. It's kind of um, it's kind of rich coming from someone who states a lot that one of his favorite video games is Banjo Kazooie. But yeah. this game just feels quite repetitive sometimes. Oh, bloody um, earth. That, the, and I'm I'm gonna I'm, I'm playing Devil's Advocate to myself. I'm saying that it's pretty repetitive at certain points because you know you have to go into the same course you know six to eight times to get all the stars and yeah. then the coins again. But um. And each time there are slight environment changes. But the one thing I will say that this game has going for it is that there are so many levels and they're so varied that like, if you get sick of doing one stage, you do two or three stars and you're like, I don't want to go in there anymore. You've got enough stars now to progress to the next stage anyway. So you can just revisit it later and there's no harm done. Whereas I feel like Banjo-Kazooie does kind of trap you a little more to get the jiggies, but... um, but I, I definitely never got as bored with Banjo Kazooie's levels as I do with some of the Mario yeah. levels. Yeah, like Banjo Kazooie's a bit more linear in the sense you just yeah. go from world to world. And yeah. Mario sixty four, like you have Bob Owens Battlefield, but once you got, I think it's like one, one to three stars, and then you have like three or four. Yeah, um, once, uh, yeah, once you get three that. stars, I think yeah, there are like three more doors that yeah. open up. So it's just like heaps of variety. But I know, I know what you mean by like repetition. Like some of these like later levels are kind of. Similar, oh, like there's the yeah. later snow level, which doesn't really do. Wait, whose name I can't even remember. Yeah, I, I'm like going into it now. Oh, like it's it's definitely one of the least memorable levels yeah, in the um, game. Because there's oh snowman's land. Yes. Yeah, what was the land. first snow level called? That was the um fucking. I went to I say <laughs> I went to say freeze easy peak, but again <laughs> that's Banjo Kazooie. Um, a much better snow level, might I add. Yeah, oh, Freeze Easy Peak is wonderful. Yeah. With the giant snow. Yep, anyway. Is it turned um, into a Banjo Kazooie? <laughs> yeah, it just sneakily turns into a Banjo Kazooie yeah, podcast. For sure. Um, oh, just do, oh, we should do a se- side note. We should do a series of episodes, like one episode per level of ba- per Banjo Kazooie world. Oh, I would, I'd be more than happy. And Tui as well. Oh, I, oh, especially and Tui. Yeah. People always forget about Tui. Yeah, and let's not forget Nuts Tui. and Bolts. Oh. Okay. Um, I have, I. <laughs> Did not play much of that. I never played it. Oh really? I never. I never owned an Xbox. So. Well, that's probably a good thing. Honestly, I'm gonna exit yeah. level and go to the original Snowman. Yeah, well. The, well, I can't even remember what the original Snow looked. I know exactly where it is in the castle. It's through yeah. that door, but I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. It's, oh my god, it's the same painting too. Yeah, exactly. Is it just called Snowman's Land? No, it's no. Got this a name. one's it's got like. A name. Cool, cool mountain. Yeah, it's yeah. cool, cool mountain. There we go. I should remember that it's the second level of the game. Yeah. <laughs> um, and oh or my god. Third. So tell yeah. me, uh, surely, surely the answer to this is yes, of course. Yeah. Did you ever throw the penguin off the cliff? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course I did, dude. I don't of think anyone, anyone alive who has played this yeah. game has not picked up the penguin and thrown, and it, thrown off. it off. But it's like in front tempting. of its mother. Yeah. In front of its mother, you but, get all the way down there and you yeet it off the cliff. Yeah. But what I used to do, because like there are two penguins in this level, and like if you bring oh, yeah. the one wrong one, the, pe- the, the mum penguin, it's like mum no. penguin. It's like no, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what is this, this is my baby? <laughs> and then you chuck that one off the cliff because it's no use to you now. Oh no! And then you get the other one, and then you drop another child off the edge, and you're you're 
My favorite thing to do is when yeah. when I'm when I'm done, you know, when I'm annoyed at kids at school, I'm just <laughs> I like throw, not throw by, off. throw them off the cliff. I throw them off the edge of a snowy mountain. Well, I, I work near the ocean, so <laughs> nice. Oh, there it goes. Oh no, I've, I just did the slide part of the level and just totally yeah. cocked it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of anything else I kind of hate. I wouldn't say hate because I don't hate this game at all. Dislike. About See, the even game. the things I dislike about, like you know, we both said something we dislike, but we both then were like, "But it's fine." Like we yeah. both came up with excuses as to why it's actually fine. Yeah, exactly. I think the only way people could hate this game is if they were nitpicky. Yeah, um, because it. I mean, it, look, it's not a perfect game. No, but it's definitely it is, dated. Oh, it's very. It's aged quite poorly in some respects. Yeah, but it still is so. I would be very interested to have someone play it, you know, like have a kid now play it for the first time on 64. Like, I don't think they would enjoy it. I don't think, and I and I often wonder, like, do I look? Do I enjoy this game so much now because I played it as, you know, is it the nostalgia goggles? Like, yeah. do I only like it because I played it as a kid? And picking up the All Stars, like, quote unquote, remaster of yeah. it, the answer is no. Like, I, yeah. I still love it and I still think it's a solid game. Yeah. Like, nostalgia definitely plays into it. But, like, mm. there's a reason why you'd keep going back to it and keep playing and, and like, especially oh, my head, go, keep going back and completing it. It's still inherently a very fun game. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, some of it can be a grind. Some of the later levels oh, are just. TikTok clock. TikTok <laughs> clock. Hazy Maze Cave is a bit... All of, like, the last few levels are actually um, kind of frustrating, and they're not that... To me, they're not that they're fun. They're not as fun, no. They're even, even like, um, Big Small Mountain, for instance. Like, yeah. that, that has its moments for me. Yeah. Um, what, what was the other one? The, the, what's the, the Big Bullies... Big Bullies Battleground... Like, uh, PUBG. Um, <laughs> it's... It's the one. Um, it's the one where you're you're in the lava, like the lava world, oh. and it's all of the bullies. Okay. Um, it's, I actually it's love down that in the bullies. basement, um, all the way down in the basement. Um, I don't remember the name of it. I think it's it's like hot. Oh, uh, it's not lethal lava world. No, it, it, it is, is lethal it? lava. Yeah. Lethal lava land. I don't yeah. know something like that. Something like that. There's so many. Like, I, I was thinking one of the stars. Yeah. I was thinking one of the stars, like um, beat the big bully or whatever it is. Yeah, um, I actually love that. That's probably that would probably be my second favorite. Mario 64 level, because I think that's just one of the ones I remember the most. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, 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 I, that yeah that, that's one of the ones where I can, like, when I, like I was saying, picturing my friends playing this or playing this yeah. with my friends as a kid, um, that's one of the ones I remember us playing a lot. Because um, yeah. this was, like, this was as far into the game as we'd gotten at yeah. that point. Yeah, Lethal Lava Land. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, boil the big bully. Yeah. Boil the big bully. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let's go. Good shit. But I think one of the other cool things about this level is the fucking volcano. Oh, hell yeah. It leaves you to pretty much like a whole other section of the level. Yeah. And it's really, I mean, it, it's good and it's bad. Like, I, I like yeah. the concept of it. Having to get to the top of the volcano is a fucking oh, it's, challenge. Oh, it's rough, yeah. It's really difficult. Yeah, yeah, see, the more we're talking about it, oh, there you go. Yeah, no, just the more it. we're talking about it and as we're playing it, it's all, it's all coming back to me. Yeah. Um, Game over. Yeah, okay. and on that game over, I reckon we can end it. I reckon we'll. Then. I reckon we'll, any final things you want to say about Mario sixty four? Kind of wrap it up um, a little bit. If you've never played it, give it a go. Yeah. Um. Maybe. Maybe. Uh. Well, it's coming out. Um. If you don't have a. If you have a Switch, but you don't have All Stars, it's actually coming out. Um. As part of the Nintendo Online expansion mm. pack, very soon, yeah. where they're adding sixty four games to Switch Online. Yeah. So if you've never played it before. Uh, it's about should. to be more accessible than ever. Yeah. Um, alternatively, buy a DS and get Mario 64 yeah. DS. That's a, it's a much better version, and there's even more stuff to do. Yeah. More characters, so it's just like even more variety. I love those um, bunny, like the bunnies that you used to chase down as Luigi too. Yeah. Like, I don't know if that was a specific Luigi thing, but I remember only ever doing it as Luigi. Yeah. But yeah, um, if you've never played it, play it, because it is a very important game. It's, in, a, it's definitely an iconic yeah. game that you, you have to play. Even if you even if you don't like it, you just definitely play it just to appreciate, you know, how far 3D gaming has come since then. Yeah, and knowing that this is one of the first real instances of a 3D game. And, yeah. And it's still it's still solid. It's it's still like good. 20, it, like, it holds up to a degree. I got, what year did this game come out? Like 90, 90, 96. 96. Yeah, 25 years later. Yeah. 25 years later and this game is still stunning. It's the 25th anniversary of Mario 64. Well, it's 2021, it? so... Yeah, 
Damn. I guess it, uh, Let, can they, are, we, are we doing maths correctly? Yeah, I think, I think we're mathing yeah, yeah. math right. 2021, yeah. There 25 years since Mario 64. So it's like the 25th anniversary of Pokemon and Mario 64. I hope it came out in 1996. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it came out uh, in the States and here in 96. In Japan, wonder, it could be 95. Could have been earlier. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll get into my phone. Tyler just tried to hack into my phone. Trying to hack into the, the mainframe. <laughs> Um, I'll, yeah, I'll I want to look up the exact. Could Mario you imagine 64. if the release date was like today? Oh my god! No, that'd be like weird, that'd weirder be shits happened. Time. Weirder shits happened, man. Yeah. Uh, initial release date. It says twenty third of June, nineteen ninety six. Twenty third of June, nineteen ninety six. But is that that'd like, probably be Japan? Like, that'd probably be Japan. Japan. Yeah, it probably came out later. Wow! Wow! So this really is the twenty fifth anniversary yeah. this year. Holy mm, shit, dude! That's a that's, nice... That's wigging me out because I'm not even 25 yet. No, I'm 23. Oh. Yeah, me too. That's, oh, there you go. Oh, shit. There we, we learn something yeah, about each other Yeah, you learn today. something new every day. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, any final thoughts from you on, on the matter? Uh, I think you said everything I, mm. that I wanted to say. You have to play it. It's an important, you know, part of gaming history. And it's an important Mario game as well. You know, it led to pretty much everything else. You know, Mario Sunshine and Galaxy and... It paved Odyssey. the way. It paved oh, the way. Odyssey. Yeah, I was just about to say Odyssey yeah, too. Yeah, especially Odyssey, oh. which is like the most similar Mario game to this. I think Odyssey I might it's... be my favorite Mario it's, game. It's definitely my favorite. It made me. There was a sequence in it that made me cry from happiness. Was that the the New it, Donk in City? New Donk City? Yeah. yeah, I was just like playing it, and I'd been playing it nonstop up to that point. Yeah, and that whole middle sequence when they're playing Jump Up Superstar, and you're yeah. doing like the two D like side scrolling section. I actually started like getting teary from happiness. Yeah, and like it's just such like a happy like. And I think awesome a lot of that moment. comes down to the fact that I remember playing sixty four as a kid, and yeah, I remember, I remember that feeling of just like not a care in the world yeah. except sitting down and playing Nintendo sixty four yeah. with some friends, like. Nice. And that's what this game is all about. And I think we'll leave it there. Because that's yeah. a very good spot to leave it on. Thanks for listening, everyone. Yeah. And Tune hope in to... to the next one will be probably another 64 yeah. game or something. Maybe yeah. Super Nintendo. We yeah. will see. Yeah, tune in next time when we boil a big bully. <laughs> 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 we aim to boil a big bully in every episode in one way or another. Thank You'll you. You'll find out. <laughs> that sounds kind of menacing. I don't know if I like that. No, that's the perfect spot to leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Bye.